Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a system called System Rescue. And right here, this one was released on uh, January 28th. So it's a System Rescue CD. So it's going to be a live CD overview of uh, System Rescue. And it says right here, System Rescue, a specialist live Linux distribution based on Arch Linux and designed for administrating and repairing computer systems and rescuing files, has been updated to version 11.0. The new release introduces the 6.6 LTS Linux kernel, provides some bug fixes, and adds several new utilities. So I have it already uh, up on the virtual machine, so let's head on over there and take a look at the System Rescue CD. And here we are on the virtual machine. And as you can see, it's from the uh, XFCE desktop environment. So first, let me go ahead and uh, fix the uh, screen resolution in here. Go to settings and display. And I'll change this to 1920 by 1080. Click on apply. Keep this configuration. All right, so there we have it. Nice full desktop. So, like I said, this is a live CD. It's a rescue CD. So, uh, if your grub fails for one reason or another or something similar to that, it's a good thing to have something like this around because you just boot it to the live system and you can open up your web browser and pretty much uh, do a Google search for whatever the problem is that you're having with your computer. So, let's say, in, for example, we have a, uh, a grub issue. We can always uh, do a search or do arch fixed grub and right here there's a few links you could just check out but I'll, I'll click on the first one and see what it says and it says uh right here it's one guy reporting the problem that he has with his system and in order to fix it basically you would uh see it's right here it says try this load arch iso mount dev sda2 so you would have to find out which one is your actual uh, your actual hard drive. So right here on this example is Dev SDA2 or Dev SDA1. And then you do an Arch, Arch CH root bound. Then do a Pacman S Grub EFI Boot Manager OS Prober. And it says in uh, looks like parentheses, you do not need OS Prober if you do not have dual boot. Then you do run Grub install. So this is just a, a dirty example that I'm showing you here. It's not necessarily what I'm trying to do here. It's just, you know, it's just what the live CV can do for you. You can search for your problem, find out what the problem is, and, you know, use that to help you out in fixing your system. Now, there's other situations that can happen, and, uh, you know, you would do the same thing. You would just open up a web browser, go to Google, and try to figure out what it is exactly that's going on wrong with your system and try to fix it. This, this is just a rescue CD to help you uh, get to your things. And right here, we have the uh, the panel on the bottom, the XFCE panel. We have our uh, our system tray on the right side, and we have pinned applications on the left side, along with our application launcher. So let me go ahead and close uh, Firefox and see what we have here. We have manual, system rescue manual. So if you open up this, should also give you some more info on uh, what type of uh, rescuing you could do of your system. So you got basic usage, advanced usage, administration scripts, LVM, disk partitioning, and development. So more than likely, if you're looking for an issue, you should be able to find it here. But just in case if you don't, you do have a web browser and you could go online and uh, pretty much search the whole web to find your problem. And next to that, we have uh, Featherpad, which is a, it's just a regular uh, text editor. But right here, you get a message saying it's a root instance, I guess because we're logged in as root. So that's why it's opening up like this. So on this, on the about, it's on Featherpad 1.4.1. And right here, it says that I believe is Gparted, and it is. So if you had some uh, partitioning that you needed to do with your hard drive, you can open up Gparted and you can take care of it from here. And let's see what version of uh, 
Gparted, we got to go in here. Gparted 1.5.0, known partition editor. These are good tools to have in case you have a uh, system issues. And of course, next to that, you have Firefox, which we already saw this, but uh, we did not take a look at the about. So uh, on the about, we have 115.7.0 ESR, extended support release. And we have a terminal also, which is the XFCE terminal. And this terminal is version 1.1.1, XFCE terminal emulator. And let's see, uh, kind of makes no sense to look at HTOP or NeoFetch on these systems because it's not really what you're using it for. But just in case, if they do have it, let's take a look at it. And you can see the live CD is only running uh, 500 megabytes out of uh, 4 gigabytes. And the load averages are 0 0.06, 0 0.10, and 0 0.9. I read a comment the other day, someone mentioned something about my uh, using 16 cores. I, this is nothing that I set up in boxes. It just does this automatically, but uh, I could change it. So probably in, when I do a future uh, overview of a distro that I actually install, I'll do it with less cores. And then now let's see if they have NeoFetch. And uh, there is no NeoFetch in saw. But anyways, I wouldn't expect it to be. And let's take a look at our application launcher. So right here. There's a run program. So from right here, we click on this. You just type in a program that you're looking for and you should be able to open it up for here. For example, if I was looking for Firefox, I'll just click on it and bam, it opens up Firefox. All right, now back to the uh, application launcher. So we have the run program. We have settings, accessories, file manager, internet, System, Terminal Emulator, About XFCE, and your Power Menu Logout and all that. So let's take a look at the About, what version of XFCE this is using. And right here, see Device, System Rescue, OS Name, System Rescue 11.0, OS Type 64-bit, Distributor, Arch Linux, XFCE version 4.18. Right. So if you ever in a in a jiffy and you're having some issues, this would be a good thing to have on uh on a USB stick. So if you ever run into a problem where for some reason grub fails or you have some some type of issue where your computer won't boot up anymore, you could always install this. Well you don't need to install it, you just boot into this and then it'll help you fix your system. Alright, so this was a quick and dirty uh overview of this live C V. Like I said, there's not really much to look at here, being that this is a system rescue CB. But uh, you have all the all the options, you know, as, as a regular uh, system. You just don't have like your uh, your graphics and things like that, multimedia, because obviously you don't you don't need them right here. But you do have your full suite of settings. So if there's something you need to do with settings, you can find it here. And like I said, right here on your on your uh, panel, you actually have a manual that once you open this up, you can go through it and try to uh, pinpoint whatever issue it is that you're having. And hopefully this will be able to help you out. All right. So I hope this helps out somebody. And uh, if you're in a jiffy like this and you need something to get your system back up and running, hopefully this will help you out. All right. So that's going to do it for this uh, live CD uh, first look at uh, System Rescue. And uh, I'll have the uh, links down in the video description. So you can take a look at it and at least have it safekeeping somewhere on a USB drive just in case you need it for uh, an issue like this. All right, so that's going to do it for me. And I'll catch you on the next one. And I'm out.